Hi guys, welcome back. Um, if this is the first time you visit the channel, please be sure to check out all my other videos if you want to find out some weird and wonderful ways to build stuff and uh, some few ideas on your transfer enclosures. Please check out my previous videos. But today is not a build. We are doing an unboxing video from the Spider Shop. Um, quite excited about this. As usual with um, unboxing videos, you never really know what you're going to get when you get a mystery box. So it's all a mystery. But um, just for fun, new t-shirt today. So here's the first one to comment down below what film that's from. Without further ado, let's get down to the unboxing. So first we're going to start off with the mantis, so it's only tiny so I've just made a little pot. Obviously they molt upside down so there's a couple of little branches and a mesh top on top. It's a bit crude but until it grows bigger it'll be fine in this one. Where is it? That's so cute. Here you go, little man. Right, second, I'm not taking much chances with this one because I've had a few of these and they can be bolty. A PR Mania, one to two centimetres, so these can be a bit bolty. So, with an old bar reel set up, it should be fine in there for a little while. Let's 
Let's have a look, see how big it is. Oh, it's tiny, tiny actually. These are quite cute slings. There's very little difference between slings and coloration and everything between these and the Cambridgey. So, yes, we sing. Bouncy bouncy. hide somewhere around there somewhere two down it's just a small little tub for this one as it says me well, it's tiny tiny and loads of room in that one. Right, that is a uh, H. Gabonesis, which is like, um, it's a dwarf baboon species which is a burrower so what we're going to do because it's so tiny we're going to put in one of these little bars but we're going to make a start a burrow from the side just by pressing the paintbrush down the side compact it down a little bit so got a little start a burrow so it should hopefully just run down into there. It's the idea anyway. Started webbing in there already. In. Can you see that or not? Right, final one is this one, which I would imagine is going to be Mr. Angry. Shortly, that laser sub in there, 
so it can burrow down. But yeah, definitely needs a bigger, bigger enclosure. Hi right, guys, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed that one. Obviously, we've got the another little tarantula room enclosure. It's quite cool, these ones. It's basically the same as the big ones, the magnetic lid. So, fit that out with a nice little juby in there. And also, um, I've been eyeing up these um, spider shop tarantula, um, Friday the 13th hides. So, we've got a little gap in there. So, we're going to do a build, sort of incorporating that into something Friday the 13th-ish. Also, you know that I'm redoing this one here. Friday the 13th. I don't know if you can see it that much, but we're going to be redoing that one. Um, after I got my um, Maniac mask, new mask, I really want to try and redo um, the artwork on the actual mask and so make it all sort of messed up and bloody and ruined. Um, that's a bit too clinical and clean, I think, after seeing that one. But um, that's all in um, videos shortly to come. I'm making really good headroom with the Hellraiser build. Um, if you want to catch a few clips, um, pictures and uh, progress of that um, coming up before the video comes out, obviously check out my Instagram or my Facebook group, Exotic Pets Enclosure Design. I'm going to be doing little step-by-step -step pics, but the full video will be out so shortly. Um, apart from that, thank you very much for watching. As always, thumbs it up, comment down below, subscribe, ring the bell, doo -doo -doo, and I shall see you later.